Greetings. Fractured Case brought 17 cool skins into the game, and we decided to talk to a designer who created one of them. He told us a lot of interesting things, and we can't wait to share it with you. Meet Estia, the creator of P2000 Gnarled. Hello, tell us about yourself. My name is Vladislav. My nickname reads like Estia. I'm from Siberia. I draw. I sometimes make music, but I don't sing. How come did you started making music and then change direction towards creating skins? What did you make that switch? One day I just got tired. Tired of making music? And how long have you been creating skins? Well, I published my first skin about 2.8 years ago. 2.8? Sounds like you have marked that day in your calendar. Well, I roughly remember the date when it all started. Later I removed my first works, published new ones. I think it was in October when I published the first skin that I could consider decent. Was it hard seeing your skins ignored and not accepted to the game? Didn't you want to give up? No, absolutely not. So you're moving straight to the set goal. I'm very much focused on creating skins as I want more of my works to be accepted in CS. I put so much effort into making them and I consider my works to be the best. In addition to that, it's really fun to play with your own skins. You know, I did that just before this interview and it's a very cool experience. And what is the total number of skins you have made? I mean, including the ones you have removed or not yet published. Well, I think it's about 35. Can we say that it was your 35th skin that got accepted? Well, it turns out like this. After removing some skins, I have 26 of my works published. And Gnarled was the first one to make it to the game? Yes, congratulations! Thank you. They say that developers prefer to consider skins from trusted designers. Do you think Valve will now draw more attention to your workshop? Does this motivate you? Or the situation works in some other way? Well, there is some specific point. I worked in a collaboration with Graf, who has a lot of skins officially accepted to the game. Like almost everything he made was accepted. And I think it played an important role in this situation. The developers saw that I was in a collaboration with a well-known and trusted designer. And this worked in my favor. So you think that your works came into the spotlight due to your collaboration with Graf? I think yes. This was an important moment. But you shouldn't underestimate your talent. Well, you're right. If your work has been accepted, then it means it was good. The devs liked my skin. By the way, Fracture Case contains a lot of works from your creators. Aside from your work, which skins are your favorite ones and why? I really like Mac 10 Allure. Why? I'm just crazy about Japanese style. From the new case, I also like Tooth Fairy by Two Minds. The work is absolutely amazing. Speaking of Japan, you said that you are a fan of Japanese and Asian art. Do you make anything in this style or maybe you plan to? Yes, I have something. I have the Burning Sakura collection, and the community really likes it. It even was viral for some period of time. In fact, it's nothing special at all. It's just a cherry blossom branch. And not a single anime girl. Would you like to win one Glock 18 Vogue or one of 10 P2000 Gnarled? Do you have an idea for a new skin? Share it in the comments. The more detailed and clear it is, the better. Among all the participants, we will choose 10 winners and each of them will get one P2000 gnarled. And the author of the most interesting idea will be awarded with a Glock 18 Vogue. Good luck, everybody! We published your skin in our social networks long before the release of the case. Though it was not P2000, but for Glock 18, at that time, many community members agreed that the skin should be of restricted or even covered quality. Were you surprised when you saw that your skin got the mil spec grade? I was very surprised but mostly because they didn't take Glock. Why? I was even upset a little bit. Most of the time, I worked in this Glock version. It took me about a month to fine-tune the pattern overlay, and the rest of the skins are made rather in a test mode. Maybe there are already too many skins for Glock. For P2000 Gnarled, you painted a very unusual artwork. Where did you draw inspiration? I was inspired by Lovecraft's monsters. For you, is it fun or money that makes you create skins? Or both? When I started creating skins 2.5 years ago, it was about making money, but now I'd rather do it for fun. I really like digging deeper, improving my skills, and seeing what comes out of it. How do you feel? Have you changed over these 2.5 years? At first you tried to make money and then moved in the direction of self-expression. Did you change your point of view? Some things have changed, I guess. Now I'm working for fun, but money is a nice bonus. I never really wanted to work at the factory. Talking about money, have you already earned something for Gnarled? Or how does it work? I know that you cannot give a detailed answer, but can you roughly say how much a designer can make if his skin gets into the game? 
Well, according to the agreements, I can't talk about commissions, but I can tell you that for this skin, I got about $11,000. It's good money. In fact, I will only get it in three months, because I am a new creator, and this is my first accepted work, so I will receive the money only after the verification period. We all remember those cases with Hal, Chantico Spire, and so on. And is there a difference between different weapon qualities? No, if you read carefully the subscriber's agreement with Steam, you will know that all designers receive the same money. If it's not a secret, how much time in a day do you spend working on a skin? 3 to 4 hours. Well, I can't paint for a very long time, as the eyes get tired. What advice would you give to those who want to become an artist or just thinking about creating their first skin? Work. Work hard. Don't think about talent. It doesn't exist. Only hard work counts. When a person says to some artist, you've got such a talent, he devalues all his efforts and achievements. To all those people whose skins have not yet been accepted, I'd like to say, do not despair. It sometimes seems incomprehensible how Valve chooses new skins. Maybe you are already on their shortlist, but you don't know it yet. No one knows. They tell it only when your skin is already accepted. In rare cases, they get into contact with a designer before the skin is accepted. This happens when they like the skin, but some details should be improved or reworked. How do designers learn that their work has been accepted? Do the developers say it before the case is released? Is it an email with congratulations or what? Yes, the game developers send you an email that your work has been accepted and you receive a notification in the workshop. I knew that from some comment in my profile. In the morning I did not want to go to Steam at all. I thought there would be only a couple of comments again, but then I saw a message from some guy saying accepted, congrats. I thought what? I went to the workshop and there it was. I first thought, I'm not going to wake my girlfriend up. But in a second I was running around the house shouting accepted, accepted. And she was like what? Are you kidding? I can't imagine. There was a moment of glory. You don't expect it. And then it comes out of the blue. We thought that they accepted off Ringtail or Sakura. And it turned out to be P2000. Well, let's hope that the devs have noticed you and more of your skins will be accepted in the future. That would be great. It was Estia, the creator of P2000 Gnarled. You enjoyed this video? Do not forget to like, subscribe and click the bell to not miss our next cool video. Bye!